You're watching WDEF News 12's Touchdown Friday Night. Live from the Kia of Chattanooga and Kia of Cleveland locker room. Brought to you by your Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union, Zaxby's, Raw Spirit, and by your greater Chattanooga Kia dealer. Ridgeland took their high-powered running game on the road tonight against Northwest Whitfield. Thanks to that rushing attack, the Panthers have yet to score less than 35 points in a game this season. The Northwest Whitfield crowd watching a good one tonight. Points coming at a premium in the first half. Late in the first half, Northwest Whitfield misses the 31-yard field goal. Then Ridgeland gets the football and check out the determination from Daryl Bridges. Talk about some tough, tough running, a 15-yard pickup. Later on in the drive, Ridgeland, a little bubble screen to Vaughn Bell. He shakes and bakes, and that just happened. He then tight ropes it down the sideline. He goes down to the two-yard line, and Vaughn Bell is pumped up. That's a 40-yard reception. That sets up a one-yard touchdown plunge by Darrell Bridges. That made it 14-7 Ridgeland. Ridgeland wins it 35-20 as Darrell Bridges ends the game with 248 yards rushing. More Georgia gridiron action. Cahulla Creek hosting LFO. First quarter, no score. LFO on the move, close to the end zone. Quarterback Trey Silman to pass, looking for pay dirt. It's duck season, and it's picked off by Cahulla's Aaron Dominguez at the one. He returns it to the 22. Later in their possession, Cahulla's drive stalls. Punter Kyle Trago back to kick. Bad snap. He chases it down and kicks it through the end zone for a safety. 2 0 LFO. Second quarter, LFO's defense comes alive. Nate Long with the huge sack. Warriors get the football back, and they're going to give it to their perhaps top player, Pooh Harden. He makes a couple of cutback moves, some nice moves, and then he's gone. 64 yards for the touchdown. That made it 9-0. LFO goes on to win it by a final score of 43-14. Back to the scoreboard we go. Stone Memorial falls to McMinn Central. Southeast Whitfield over Heritage 30-13. Dade at home tonight, and Dade County at home tonight against Armucci, and they win by three. Murray County, they fall hard to Calhoun by a final of 69 to nothing. Speaking of home games, Ringo back at home this evening against North Murray. Both teams are one and two in their region, so the loser of tonight's game would pretty much be out of the playoff picture. Even the youngsters having a good time at Ringo this evening. Third quarter, Ringo up 14 to two. North Murray has the ball. Quarterback Brady Swilling drops back to pass, and he finds Hinton McConkey over the middle. He rumbles to the Ringgold 39-yard line, a 42-yard pickup. On the next play, Jacob Mays gets the ball. He breaks to the left, cuts to the sidelines, and gallops 39 yards for the touchdown. That makes it 14-9 with 10-30 to go in the third quarter. The Ringgold offense gets their chance to score from the four. It's running back Sam Taylor bullying his way in the end zone. The PAT was no good, though, so the Tigers are now up 20 to 9. Play of the night for North Murray. Punter Jacob Mays tries to pin Ringo deep in their own territory, and he does it with a booming 62-yard punt. But in the end, Ringo would take the victory as they beat North Murray by a final score of 35 to 15. Lookout Valley. They were at home tonight against Copper Basin. Fourth quarter. The Cougars are up 35 to 19, and they want more. They're going to give the football to Denzel Brown. He kind of fakes the camera people a little bit there, but he makes a nice run when we pick him up. He's going down to about the 10-yard line. Although the Lookout Valley Band, uh, they don't seem too excited about that run. <laughs> Quarterback Dylan Boggs on the keeper for Copper Basin. He's going to try to make the pylon. Will he make it? Will he make it? Yes! Nice stretch. That made it a 41-19 game. Cougars tack on the PAT, so now it's 42-19. Yellow Jackets, they will punch one in before it's all over. They get another score. Jalen Wynn will take this one in for the touchdown, but the win tonight belonged to Copper Basin. They take it by a final score of 42-27. Back to the scoreboard, Sweetwater in Bledsoe County. Bledsoe falls 28-0. Cartersville stays undefeated as they beat Gordon Central 41-19. Chattooga and Coosa. Cusa winner there by 13, and Darlington shuts out Borden Lee 31 to nothing. Still ahead on touchdown Friday night, Central visits East Ridge, and Boyd battles Maplewood.